Hey there, it's Laura here from makingcardsissun.com and in today's video I'll be showing you how to create an outer space birthday card featuring the Be Me Up stamp and like it set from Lanfon. I'm starting out by picking out the different stamps that I'll be using on today's cards. I'm positioning all of them with my mini misty tool so I can easily stamp them all at once. I'm inking up these stamps with Mento Textile Black Ink and I'm stamping them onto some Simon Says Stamp Ultra Heavyweight White Cardstock. For my first alien I'm using BG09, BG07 and BG02. So this is just a really fun Copic color combination for like some darker turquoise. Then for the spaceship, I'm using Y04 and Y00. This is just a really light yellow um, color combination. Then for the spaceship, I'm using N3, N1, and N0. And as you can see, I had to go back twice um, in order to get some nice shading. Then for the birthday cake, I'm using YR18 and YR21 to color the candles first. Then for the bottom part of the cake, I'm using E27 and E55 since I wanted this cake to look like a chocolate cake. Then for the top of this cake, I am using the same yellow colors that I used for the spaceship. Um, so I'm using Y04 and Y00. Then I'm coloring the larger alien using Y04, Y02 and Y00. And at first I stamped a lot more images than I'm actually going to be using uh, for my finished card. But when I started making this card I just had a total different design in my head. And then while I was making it I switched it up. For the heart on the little flag, I am using R29 and R22 and then for the actual flag, I am using N3 and N1. So whenever I'm coloring really tiny images, I usually use two shades for each color and then when I'm coloring bigger images like the biggest alien, I like to use uh, three different shades. So here I am using a circle die and some masking paper to create my masks for my card. So I'm using a circle die from Lawn Fawn and I'm just going to use some washi tape to hold that down while I'm die cutting it. I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine and um, I'm using some Simon's Stamp uh, masking paper. And I'm going to create a hill mask and I'm using the same circle die for that and I'm just tracing it with my pencil. You could also use a border die but I'm using the same circle die so that the curve would match the circle. So um, I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist and I wanted it to line up exactly so that's why I'm using the same circle die. Here I am going to adhere my mask to a standard size note card. So this card measures four and a quarter of an inch by five and a half. Then I also put the other mask on there so that I could ink blend the um, border for this card. I'm using the Black Soot Distress Ink Pad for this and I'm applying it heavily so that it's really a jet black um, color. Next I'm going to leave on that other mask so the mask that covers up the galaxy and that makes it just really easy to perfectly line up the mask that will cover up the black parts. So then I could just I, I really was able to line it up perfectly and as you can see I'm just going to peel off that other mask and then I can start working on the sky or the galaxy um, in this case. I'm using three different distress inks today. I'm using mustard seeds, twisted citron and peacock feathers. And I'm just going to do a lot of ink blending. I repeated this step about five times, maybe even six times. Just blend away until you're happy with the result. 
So I started out with the yellow color on the top, then I started blending the peacock feathers on the bottom and then in the center I'm using Twisted Citron to blend all of these colors together. So um, yeah, I repeated this step about five times, maybe six times and you just have to kind of see um, how long it takes. Sometimes, I mean there are some colors that blend easier than others in this case, I had a little bit of trouble blending the Twisted Citron, but in the end it all worked out. So I'm leaving on the stencil, or the mask I mean, that covers up the black part, and then I'm using a stencil from Winnie and Walter to create a starry background. I'm using Moonstone Glimmer Paste from Tonic to create some really sparkly stars. So first I wanted the paste to be really thick but then I started removing my stencil and I noticed that the stars um, just didn't look good because the paste was so thick so I had to go back and scrape off the excess and then I was just really happy so here I'm scraping off the excess and then I'm peeling off the stencil and then as you can see you have a gorgeous um, glimmery star background then it's time for my favorite part of this card. Um, I'm peeling off the masks and I just enjoy doing this so much because then you're able to see the gorgeous um, background or the gorgeous stamping you just did and it's just so satisfying to peel off the mask and to see your finished result. I just love it. I'm also using the coordinating dies of the Be Me Up stamp set to die cut these images. Um, I really like this die cut set because the spaceship um, image has two dies. So first I'm using the little um, frame to die cut the center of the spaceship and then I can use the outline of it. So this just makes sure that you can add like a little image inside your spaceship. And in this case I'll be using the tiny alien. Um, for it. So I, I just think it's a really fun and clever um, design. So I am temporarily adhering my dies with some washi tape while die cutting it. Then it's time to heat emboss a sentiment. I let this black ink dry overnight and then I am using some kitchen flour to remove any static cling. So I do recommend letting your Distress Ink dry completely before doing any heat embossing. You can speed up the drying process with a heat tool or you can just let it dry overnight like I did. I stamped the sentiment with First Mark Ink and I'm using Opaque Bright White Embossing Powder to heat emboss my sentiment. This is the super fine embossing powder from WOW and I just really like to use it whenever I am heat embossing sentiments. So here I am melting my embossing powder and then it's time to put everything together. I'm using mini foam squares to adhere everything onto my cart. Um, I like to use small foam squares but of course you can also use fun foam or any kind of other um, adhesive that you would like to use. Then I'm also adding a little bit of shimmer and shine with a Spectrum Noir Clear Overlay Shimmer Pen and I'm also adding a coat of Tonics Crystal Glaze for some extra dimension and extra shine. I'm adding this to the eyes of those aliens and then also to those little circles on the spaceship. So that finishes up my card for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my blog post for more information. And I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.